Hi, hello everyone and welcome back to my greenhouse here at home. A little bit chilly, so I'm just going to close this door for a minute. How are you all doing? So today I'm looking at making a seed bed and I've wanted a seed bed for quite a while. Just and what I usually do when it comes to sowing seeds is I just use some of these green containers that you've probably seen in many of my videos in the past and these have been great they work really well at sowing seeds but when I finish sowing the seeds and I've pricked them all out all that compost just ends up in the compost bin and it's a bit wasteful so I want to build something that's a little bit more uh, recyclable and used more than once so what I've got is this black plastic container. It's about 30 centimetres deep, 30 centimetres wide and 40 centimetres long and I have used this actually in the past for growing things in. If you look I've got a hole just drilled just here in which it lets water out. Now I've done it on this side because I want to create like a wicking system on this so on, underneath that hole that, that gets filled up with water and creates like a water reservoir so it never dries out or it takes a very long time to dry out but the soil actually wicks the soil up or the water up I should say so first of all in the very bottom what I need to do is fill it up with some perlite now I've lucky enough that I've managed to get hold of some perlite when I cleared out my Uncle Tim's greenhouse, which didn't cost me very much money. So, well actually, that was free. So, perlite is easily available at uh, most garden centres. And it is a volcanic, it's a natural material, it's volcanic. And I've just put a nice thick layer on the bottom of that. It'll act like a sponge and soak up some water into that. Next, we're gonna fill this up quite high with loads of seed sowing compost. Now I'm using seed sowing compost because it's quite light, it's quite friable and is very low nutrients. What that means is that as the seeds grow they won't have any trouble breaking through this soil. If it's too clay, too, too thick they struggle to break through, uh, which is often a problem, when, especially if you've got clay soil like I have. And this is also the clay soil is why I'm not building mine outside like you would expect most seed beds to be. But yeah, that's nearly there. Let's add a bit more. Might as well finish this off like so. I think we'll break some of these big bits up and just get that spread around. So, let's see, have we got any more? We might be able to get a couple more spoonfuls out. Like so. I'm just going to add a touch of perlite as well. And then what I'm going to do, give us a good mix and break up with my hands. A bit like kneading bread. There we go. So there we go. I've got this seed bed built. Now this is going to be recyclable. What I will probably do as we use it more and more, actually add more seed compost to it as and when I feel the need to. I think what we need to do for now is sow some seeds. So... All we got to do is simply make a, a drill in the ground like so, add a label so that we know exactly what is there. Into it we're going to add a few seeds, there we go, and then we're just going to backfill that slightly, and there we go. That is my seed bed. Built. I've spoken about this on my podcast this week if you want to check that out um, and to find out more information but got a seed bed built hopefully it's going to be reusable as the seedlings grow we prick them out and move them into the root trainers 
like many of our other plants. Great stuff, very, very happy with that. So if you've got a seed bed or anything similar, let me know in the comments down below, or perhaps you use something completely different to sow your seeds. Let me know in the comments what you do.